Hello dear friends, life is but a dream, you must learn to live it. Welcome to a fresh video of Shiksha Mantra. So far we have discussed about so many different topics of English grammar. Today we are going to discuss something very much interesting here in a fresh discussion of Shiksha Mantra. We are going to discuss about verbs. Yes, dear friends, verbs are so very important for a student to learn and learn properly that uh, you must remember all its types and different ways they are used. Actually, so far you have learned about so many different types of verbs, but today we are going to discuss some unique verbs like physical verbs, mental verbs. Yes, dear friends, verbs also have physical and mental status. Sometimes they are physical and sometimes they have relation with your mind. Sometimes they are dynamic, sometimes they are stative. So today we are going to discuss about those unique verbs in this first discussion of Siksha Mantra. So let's begin. Here, when we begin our discussion, in this session, we'll discuss some unique verbs. They're unique in the way they'll be learned here. And also, we'll discuss them side by side. The terms associated with the verbs will be cleared with examples. And at the same time, we'll begin our discussion with auxiliary and lexical verbs. Yes, dear friends, just keep your eyes open, keep your mind open and accept whatever is discussed here. This is very, very important things auxiliary and lexical now what is auxiliary verb auxiliary verb is also known as helping verb it determines the mood or tense of another verb in a phrase now auxiliary verbs it will rain tonight now have focus on will the verb will actually helps the verb rain by explaining that the action will take place in the future so it determines the tense and that's the task of an auxiliary verb. And at the same time, here you must remember the primary auxiliaries are the various forms of be, have and do verbs. And the modal auxiliaries include can, could, may, might, should, must, will, would. So basically auxiliaries are of two types, primary auxiliaries and modal auxiliaries and now we discuss about lexical verb a lexical verb also known as a full or main verb is any verb in english that isn't an auxiliary verb it conveys a real meaning and doesn't depend on another verb such as it rained all night so what you find here rained it's a single verb that is used and it has a real meaning it is a meaning of its own it doesn't have to depend on any other verb to express its sense so this is a full verb or a main verb and here we'll call them lexical verb yes dear friends after lexical verbs we'll discuss dynamic verbs and stative verbs dynamic yeah isn't the term very interesting Yes, dear friends, a dynamic verb indicates an action, process or sensation. Like this, I bought a new guitar. See, here, bought. This verb is actually an action. With this verb, you get an idea of a process. So we call it a dynamic verb. It is related to progress. Yes, dear friends, it's dynamic. But when we discuss of a stative word uh, such as be, have, know, like, own and sim. They describe a state 
a situation or a condition. How? Now I own a Gibson Explorer. Now I own. This is not an action. It only speaks of a state or a condition you may say. That's why this is a stative verb. So we get dynamic and stative. Now we we'll discuss about physical verb, its definition and its example. What is physical verb? Yes, dear friends, our body and our mind. The verbs are also like this. The first one is physical verb. So let's check what is a physical verb. Physical verbs are action verbs that describe specific physical actions. If you can create a motion with your body or use a tool to complete an action, the verb you use to describe it is most likely a physical verb. So it has relation with your body. It has relation with your physique. So it's physical. Now we'll have some examples of physical verbs. Let's run to the corner and back. Here, run. It's a physical activity. I hear the train coming. Hearing, that's also a physical activity. Then call me when you are finished with class. So here, call is also a physical activity. So all these examples here, run, hear, call, they are the examples of physical verbs. And now I'll discuss about mental verbs yes dear friends i've told you now there's physical and mental status for the verbs as well so here we are going to discuss mental verbs mental verbs have meanings that are related to concepts such as discovering understanding thinking or planning in general a mental verb refers to a cognitive state yes dear friends here we have the mental verbs examples i know the answer so here no this is actually a, a status of your mind here you don't have to do anything physically and there's the second she recognized me from across the room so there your mind is associated with the action and not your body that's why we have considered the mental verbs do you believe everything people tell you believe it's also has relation with your mind so all these examples know recognize believe they are examples of mental verbs and here we are with another very typical types of verbs states of being verbs is it something new haven't you heard the term before? Yes, you know it. When I discuss about this verb, you'd find that it's known. Also, it's known as the linking verbs. So state of being verbs describe conditions or situations that exist. State of being verbs are inactive since no action is being performed. These verbs, forms of to be, such as am, is, are, and they are usually complemented by adjectives. So you know them as linking verbs, as copulative verbs, copulas. That's also called state of being verb. So stative verbs, and now this is state of being verbs. Just have a good focus over these terms and you have to remember them. You have to remember the differences we are present here about these verbs these verbs are going to help you their status their definition their examples everything has to be remembered so that you can flourish in your english grammar skill so here we have some examples i am a student so am this is the form of to be verb and a student it's working there as a description for the subject i so you uh, may consider it as an adjective and then comes we are circus performers the same thing happens here please is quiet so quiet this is a adjective and it comes after to be verb is so all these are state of being verbs that's all wait 
for the next video we are returning very soon bye bye